Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to Madden 18 on EA Sports. We've got two running backs who are hoping for plenty of running lanes on that field today. It's Morris's Cowboys going up against Lynch's Raiders. With that, let's welcome in our fine broadcast team. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. It's a day, Larry, that fans in these parts will need to savor as we come to you from the East Bay and Oakland, California. A short time ago, the NFL's Defensive Player of the Year for 2016, Khalil Mack, getting the folks in silver and black in full roar as his guys get set to match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Hi again, everybody. I'm Brandon Gordon. To my left, as always, he's Charles Davis. And, Charles, we saw in the open, we've got a couple of great running backs in this game tonight, each capable of putting a team on his back. And I'm excited to talk about the runners, not just the passers, who have a big hand and who's going to win this game. Both of these guys are do-it-all, can run it, can catch it. I can't wait to get this one started. A clash of two of the more fervent fan bases around. The Cowboys and the Raiders are underway. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Here comes Oakland on offense, and last week for this crew led by Derek Carr, no Michael Crabtree, no Amari Cooper, but no problem winning over the New York Giants 24-17, Mr. Davis. Yeah, how about this? They won consecutive games now for the first time since opening the season 2-0. And, oh. and remember when they were 2-0? Oh, we were talking about the, this team winning 12, maybe 13 games in a season. They're fighting for a playoff spot, but they're getting hot at the right time, aren't they? Well, we've talked about that AFC West. They're in contention, but the three teams at 6-6 six and six we thought might be a little bit better record-wise. Yeah, we thought that, but also we're seeing now beast mode starting to really warm up. Marshawn Lynch, his first 100-yard game since coming out of his one-year retirement. Over the middle to Smith. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. A gain of six there on first. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So here we go, first and ten now. Now Carr, a right side catch by Crabtree. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Yeah, the offensive starters here for the Raiders. One of the things I like to do when I'm scouting players is talk to those who knew him before, and I ended up finding out that Amari Cooper has been like a professional route runner since the time he was six or seven years old, has always taken the game seriously, has always worked on his craft, and you see evidence of that each and every week on an NFL field. Couple that with his athletic ability, that's one big reason he's finding himself open in the NFL. Now Carr throwing on second down. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Shotgun now for Carr. And this is going to be incomplete. Let's face it, you can run the route tree 
as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Six-year man Marquette King on to punt. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. The Dallas Cowboys got a big win last week, 38-14 all over Washington. Dak Prescott, you see him as he leads the offense out. And what was weird for Dak and company, they played in back-to-back -back Thursday games because they had the Thanksgiving game, and then they turned around the following week on Thursday. That is a bit of an oddity, isn't it? But how great is it that it's back-to-back -back Thursdays, and it's a Thursday where you're not coming off of a short week. Right. Right? They actually got the full week just like it was a Sunday-to-Sunday -Sunday game. But the Cowboys finally got some points on the board, right? They put 38 on Washington. They'd scored less than 10 points in each of the previous three games. And think about it this way. Dak's first win without Ezekiel Elliott, which is very good for his confidence. And a tip of the cap, Darren McFadden announced his retirement from the NFL. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And all the way down to the 29. A big play here for the Cowboys. 51 yards on the ground. Well, welcome to the party. First carry of the game. How about that? And just think, as far as he's concerned, he's just getting warmed up. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Now Prescott. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. The offensive starters now for the Cowboys. In a league where guys really pride themselves on their toughness, Jason Witt is a model of durability. Has the longest consecutive game streak played by a non-kicker in the NFL. And how does he do it? He just has a force of will, loves to play the game, and finds his way out on the field and manages to play through just about any bump and bruise that comes along. On the carry, here's Smith. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It'll be a loss of a yard, and just like that, it's third down. It's not always as trade as that team wanted it more than the other, but on that play, it actually was true. They were faster to the ball. of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And an alley to run. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Red zone opportunity. This is Morris. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. We'll take a break and get a report from Oakland after this.
Will Smith. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. And here comes play number six on this drive. They go back to the ground with Smith. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. And we take a look now at the defense for the Raiders. When Bruce Irvin first hit the league, everybody talked about how undersized he was, but we almost forgot how fast he was. And he still is, and he uses that speed to run down ball carriers, chase quarterbacks. Had six forced fumbles in 2016, along with a fellow outside linebacker, Vic Beasley. They tied for the league lead. This is Smith, and not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Well, they've got it down to the three, but now this is third and goal. They'll run it with Williams. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. Now I wouldn't be surprised if they go for it. Three points is not ideal. It's not what they want, but it's still only the first half. Take the three points and move on. And the Cowboys will call on Dan Bailey here. This is an easy one, 23-yarder. And Bailey able to knock it through. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. Well, it's a night game, a lot of energy in this building. But the visiting team here, they get the ball in the opening drive, and they find a way to at least produce three. And things are just getting started, so you can't say that they've taken the momentum totally, but a good start towards seizing it in this game. To the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. Spins past him. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. They'll start on the ground with Lynch. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And now the defense for Dallas. I think most people locked in on Byron Jones when he came out of UConn at the NFL Combine where he darn near jumped out of the stadium because of his vertical leap. But there's so much more to his game than that. Played cornerback and safety in college. And they can use that same ability to move them around in the NFL in order to create great matchups on defense for Dallas. See if they stay on the ground for second down. To throw its car. Got it complete to Crabtree. 
And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to bring up a third down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop, but that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything, so it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Throwing his car on third down. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. Well, he showed a little athletic juke, but then the daylight quickly closed. It's a gain of five, and it'll be fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether they're seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> you put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> bad. I don't know about that. Bad. <laughs> Super tough. <laughs> They'll run it here with Smith. Nifty move there on the run, but ultimately brought down at the 25. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Prescott now on second down. And this one caught by Dez Bryant. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Prescott finding his big receiver, Bryant, there for a Cowboy first down. Dez Bryant, by the way, partnered last week in the win over Washington, caught touchdown pass number 72 in a Cowboy uniform. Throw up the X, because that's what Dez does when he scores, right? He throws the X sign up, and he went past Bullet Bob Hayes to set the new record for Dallas. That brings back memories for an old guy like me watching number 22 Bob Hayes run around in a Dallas uniform. That's quite an accomplishment for Des Bryant. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Personal foul. Face mask. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. here on first down and this one is incomplete
A second down throw for Prescott. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. On third down, it's Prescott. He completes it to Bryant. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And a nice gain of 21 yards. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So they say no to the penalty. The incompletion stands. It'll be second and ten. And what they want to do is go ahead and take those downs away from them. You never want to give extra snaps to any offense. That's how you get hurt. Ten yards still left on second down. They'll throw again. Prescott. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. It'll be a gain of nine. And that is going to set up a third and one. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. He's got a man. It's Williams. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Prescott. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. So just a lone field goal in this first quarter of play. 3-0 is our score, and we're back to Oakland after this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. They're looking at a second and short yardage to start things out. This is their fullback, and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Well, not a lot of flash and dash on that play. Second and two, and they hand it to the big man, and he ends up picking up a first down. A little bit of gray area there, though, but I think what they thought, 
hey, we hand it to him here. If we come back and don't get it, we still got another down to try and pick it up. Losing yardage to the five. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. I don't know if there's any other way to put it, but that play was blown up right from the snap. How about the guys on the defensive side of the ball? It's almost like they were in the offensive huddle. Yeah, it's one thing to stand them up from that one-yard line. Pushing them back to the five, though. Wow. Yeah, I like what you just said there. Not just stand them up, but end up making a play on the other side of the line of scrimmage. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. All right, let's put the check mark on the defensive side of the ledger there. Really nice tackle by the man in the middle. But why was he able to get that done? Because he has four down linemen in front of him. Two tackles, two ends. And what they often try to do is create what we call a funnel. Right to the man in the middle, the middle linebacker, who often leads his team in tackles. And that is incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. And Bailey able to knock it through. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So that scores now on their first two possessions, but it's 6 nothing. probably not the kind of scores they were hoping for. No, not at all, but I think that they've shown that they can have some success against this defense. So they'll go back to the sideline knowing the points are going to be there for the taking. To the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. <laughs> and he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. this across the 25-yard line. Give him 12 yards that time and an Oakland first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. throw after the play fake to Lynch. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, on that incompletion, um, gives us a chance to sneak in a little bit of an oddity last week. You hear all the talk of East Coast bias in the media. Well, there was some West Coast bias in Week 13. All five West Coast teams were winners. The first time that that's happened since 1976. Mm. And think about what these wins meant, too. The Rams leading the NFC West. The Chargers tied for the AFC West along with the Raiders, who also won. San Francisco won their second game 
but both over brand name teams. They beat the Giants and they beat the Bears and the Seattle Seahawks still lurking out there. They're also in contention for the NFC West crown. Carr again here on second and 10. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Sean Lee coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. That's something you see a whole lot of, a sack of Derek Carr and due in large part to a good O-line. Carr was sacked on less than 3% of his dropbacks last year, lowest in the league. Oakland knew it was important to take care of their quarterback. They picked up Donald Penn, Kelechi Osemele, and Rodney Hudson in recent years, and it's paid off. Carr and the Raiders following the sack, looking up at a third and long. From the gun, it's Carr. He finds Roberts complete. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. is functioning really well. You know who stays what we call clean and no one gets to him? The guy playing the middle linebacker position. The guy we call Mike. That means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. down Lynch broken tackle and this time he's able to take it down to the 42 they get nine out of that one and as a result the drive continues we use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field in this case it really fits doesn't it how about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving here and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. First and 15 here behind the chains. They'll run it now, out of the gun. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Connect. They were trying to get it to DeAndre Washington, and it's third down. Oh, boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because, like, like him, it's going to haunt my dreams, too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. 
Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. Also, offense. So that one will be accepted. The Raiders on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and 15. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Cooper's got it. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it. Now the confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. Play action. Now it's Carr. Looking sideline, incomplete. He was trying to get it to Seth Roberts, and now it's second down. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let it just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. And the offense readies for play number 10 of this series. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. Offense. And the seemingly endless drive continues. Penalty, Lynch. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The Raiders on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 11. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. David Irving in there to drop him for a six-yard loss. And that'll lead to a fourth down. Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. Now on fourth down, Jack Del Rio is going to send on the field goal unit. This from 54 yards away. And no, it doesn't get there. Hits the crossbar, bounces back out. He had it on line, but it comes up about a rotation short. Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that, too. But it was a crossbar that said otherwise. And that'll deny him a shot at three. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense set up nicely at the 44-yard line. They'll start it on the ground with Morris. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 
That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Charles, speaking of Alfred Morris, how about him last week? He got the band back together again, over 100 yards for the first time since 2015. Do you think that it's really a coincidence? What, it was that it was against, against his former, former team? team? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, he put big numbers on. Had 125 yards on the ground. First time he'd gone over 100 since 2015, as you noted. And the second player of the history of the Washington-Dallas rivalry, to run for over 100 yards for each of the two teams. Do you remember who did it before? I know because you told me, Dwayne Thomas. Exactly, who coined the great phrase in Super Bowl history. If it's the ultimate game, why do they play it every year? Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Eddie Vanderdose, he's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sad. Quarterback gets hit. Second down, Prescott. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Third and long for Prescott. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And avoids the contact by sliding. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. So they are going to call on Dan Bailey here. His career long is 56 yards done in Seattle. This will be from 56 yards out. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Marshawn Lynch and the Raider offense heading back out there. They haven't been able to get him on track. They haven't been able to get this offense on track. No points so far. Maybe it's time to start doing a few different things. Throwing the ball a little bit. Maybe featuring other people touching it for a while. And then you get a chance to come back to it when things have changed a little bit. They have to make an adjustment. There's still time for him here as we sit in the second quarter. So the missed 56 yarder, and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. They start the drive with Lynch, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45 yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Partner, you mind if I take off this headset and put on a coaching headset? You want to get this running game going? I want to get this running game going. I'm going down there and saying, gentlemen, we have got to run the football. We've got to get it going right now. Yeah, to this point in the second quarter, it has been a struggle. yardage on the play back at the 44. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Partner, that defensive win reminds me of something a coach of mine used to say all the time. If you really want it, you'll find a way to go get it. And the defense did exactly that. The Raiders on third down, two for five to this point. This is third down and 12. From the gun, Carr. Finding a safety valve here, that's complete. 
And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Give him 12 yards that time and an Oakland first down. to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Oakland after this. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, we'll send you to Orlando and Larry Ridley as he'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. But no touchdowns. These guys need to give Larry some touchdowns to talk about. Things are too easy for him right now back in the studio. Come on, guys. Help the man out. Give him something to talk about. Offense comes to the line now. First and ten. Operating from the gun. Carr. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Jared Cook, the tight end, was the target. And that'll bring up second down. Second down, it's Carr. Connects it to Roberts, right side. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. They'll run it. Here's Lynch. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Three yards there. Good enough to keep the drive moving. Well, if we had any questions, that run kind of answered him. He's still Marshawn Lynch. Hasn't lost a thing. Maybe running with a renewed sense of purpose and energy after that year off. anything open and this play just didn't look right from the beginning it did not i thought he might get outside and just chuck it away dangerous pass incomplete carl try it again on second down and that's incomplete cordero patterson the one he was hoping to get it to and now it's third down Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. To throw on third down, Carr. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. Hey, 
into the red zone. It's Carr. They'll set up the screen to Lynch. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Now, before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. Second down now after the pass completion. Now Carr maybe with a free play. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. Throwing on first down is Carr. This will be caught at about the six. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. dropped it in the end zone. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. in a position where if they make the extra point, we're right back to even before we start the second half. The try here for the extra point. And he knocks it through. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it ends with an Oakland touchdown. kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Here comes Ryan Switzer to return it. 
And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Begin the drive to Morris. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, Brandon, we'll see if I can get through this without being skipped as we welcome you to our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Raiders are happy to be in front right now and just want to play two more solid quarters. The Cowboys just want to come out after the half and claw their way back into the game. All right, let's do it. Here's a look at the first half highlights. Being able to zero in on the QB here. This one ends up as a loss of six. First and ten. Defense will get to the QB here. This ends up as a loss of nine. Raiders with the ball waiting seconds of the half. Carr going to the air and finding Michael Crabtree. And he kept off the long drive with the TD. They go up by one. We're set up for a great second half, so let's get you out to it. Here's Brandon Guyton. All right, thank you, Larry. Plenty of intrigue to come. A one-point game as we get set for half two. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk? when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission. Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. They run with Morris. And not too much going there as he'll get it up to the 23-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Seven yards to go on second down. They run again with Morris. Takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time. But any team will take that type of run each and every time. 
The Cowboys on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. Here it's third and three. Now Prescott, and that's caught by Beasley. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A Dallas first down, Prescott hook it up with Beasley. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. They go play action here on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Well, since that pass hit the ground, it's time to have some fun, Madden World. Marcus Peters, I know you saw this. Did you see him throw the flag into the stands last week against the Jets? A little bit of frustration because there had been a few pass interference calls, defensive holding calls against Kansas City. And this one happened in the end zone, so it set up another touchdown opportunity for the Jets. So Marcus Peters had had enough. None too happy. There's a flag on the ground. And he went ahead and expressed his displeasure <laughs> by chucking it into the stands. My favorite part, though, was watching the crowd in the stands. Oh, they were it. taking selfies. They with grabbed the flag. the flag, and they're all taking <laughs> selfies. First time has to be in NFL history the fans taking selfies with a penalty flag. Now the offense lining up first and ten. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards on the pickup, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit four of seven. This time they face a third and two. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage, but it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force, and they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. First down and ten now for the offensive group. Here's Morris, and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Try to throw now. Prescott. He hits Beasley right side. And he'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. Now a 
Alex Morris. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that, and that really chips away at your confidence. Prescott now on second down. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. And that's one of the few times they've been able to contain him. He's had a heck of a game, and maybe he's getting a little bit tired from how many times he's carried the ball. But I always think back to what all those old coaches say. The ball's not that heavy. Keep carrying it, kid. They come out here in the eye. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. That's how the Pro Bowl guard from Notre Dame, Zach Martin. And the seemingly endless drive continues. Second and goal. Defense digging in again. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great effort there. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys are in for six. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. And the formula there on the two-point try, they go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that if someone, if they're going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. Bailey now to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42-yard line. Great return. That strong return has set them up nicely for this drive, and we all know the next score is going to have a major impact on this game. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them, and you know at the half they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Toward the right sideline, but... 
but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Michael Crabtree there, and that'll bring up second down. Well, Charles, let's shift gears. I've got to ask you about what's going on in the AFC West. Do you? I, I Do have, you really? I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, no, Kansas who City. Does? Kansas City's lost four straight. Denver's right. lost eight straight. What, what's going on? We'd all love to know, wouldn't we? Because I don't know how you felt about it, because I won't put words in your mouth, but I feel like the consensus around the country was this is the best division in the yeah. NFL. Three teams potentially could go to the playoffs. Yet, as you noted, Kansas City's an absolute free fall. Oakland's on a nice little run right now. They've gotten themselves back into it. They're tied with Kansas City. And the Chargers are also tied with them at the top all at six and six. And many think they're the hottest ticket. Forget tiebreakers right now. This division will work itself out. Oakland and Kansas City play next week. L.A. Kansas City play on Saturday, December the 16th. And Kansas City plays at Denver and Oakland plays at L.A. 12:31, New Year's Eve. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for an Oakland first down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Fresh set of downs here. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. A 10th carry of the game for Marshawn Lynch. A gain of three, second down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. So the offense now dealing with a second and seven. They'll run again with Lynch. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Now Carr, and he'll have his man. That's Cooper. And he's brought down, but following a pretty juke move that gives him the first down. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. down he's going to leave this for his running back it's complete and he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22 yard line it'll be a pickup of only a yard and it'll be a second down Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. On second down, here's Carr. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Marshawn Lynch. Third down here. The Raiders on third down. They've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. This is third and nine. Hey, 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 Throwing his car on third down. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Demarcus Lawrence with a big-time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. 
He was trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. This will be spotted at the 37, so it's a 47-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So he missed a field goal earlier, but he says not this time, and he's able to knock it through to give his guys three. And that's all you want as a kicker, a chance to redeem yourself. you got to have a short memory if you're going to survive at this level, and he's able to get back on track. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, <laughs> if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> he would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> They begin the drive with Morris. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. A second down throw for Prescott. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Navarro Bowman not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Play here will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in the East Bay. It's the Cowboys with a the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. The Cowboys on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and 11. the shotgun it's Prescott and incomplete the contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down you get a tight end like this and you know he's used to dishing out punishment but here 
He's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. <laughs> 51 yards on the punt there. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Now a play fake here on first down. Letting one go deep for Roberts. And nearly picked off there. And it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances. But I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Second down now after the incompletion. To throw again. Carr. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Now Carr on the bootleg. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. Here's Marquette King now as he's on to punt for Oakland. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And this will be taken at the 13. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell him to back off of being aggressive. But sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose. And just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. So the offense has it first and 10. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Morris. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. 
The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Over the middle. It's incomplete. Jason Whitten, the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. The Cowboys on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and seven. Prescott from the gun. And this one complete to Witten over the middle. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Derek Carr getting set and ready to go again on offense here. And right now, probably just one thing in his mind, it's getting back to the hot start because he's really faded. And ordinarily when that happens, he, the quarterback, as you know, is usually the leader of the squad. Now there's probably a, a silent camaraderie that comes around him saying, hey, guess what? We got you. Don't worry about it. Let's go, big fella, because they know more times than not, he tends to pick things up, and they tend to play well. On first and ten, here's Carr. He'll dump it off complete to Lynch. And a nice little quick spin move before he's dropped. Had a pretty good game. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Card out of throw. Connects it to Roberts, right side. They were looking to throw, holding in a big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're usually going to pick up a holding call. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. Offense. That's on the big guard, Gabe Jackson. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Throw on second down. Sideline throw. That's caught. Amari Cooper. And he is out of bounds, getting it across the 30-yard line. Solid gain of 18 and a Raider first down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and, of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. So here we go, first and ten now. From the gun, it's Carr. But it's caught on the right side, it's Smith. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. 
Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And <laughs> what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Carr gives to Marshawn, and he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Shotgun now for Carr. Washington's got it. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Offense lining up first and ten. Here's Carr to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. He got 29 yards that time. And there they went crossing route against the zone defense. What do you think of that? It takes real coordination between the passer and the receiver because you've got to read those zones and where the open spots are and be on the same page with the guy throwing the football. Because sometimes you're throwing it in front of the zone. Sometimes you're throwing it between the zone. Sometimes the receiver's going to just kind of find a spot and what we call sit down and present himself to the quarterback and throw it there. It's a tough read, but when they're in sync, it's really effective. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. So the penalty by the offense, and now they face a first and 15. Back to the ground, Lynch. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a five-yard pickup, so essentially they get the penalty yardage back, and it's back to second and 10. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, That'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Second down following the run. Working from the gun, it's Carr. This will be caught at about the five. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. Ball start. Offense. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Six, six, six. 
From the gun, Carr. And he's got his tight end, Cook, in the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders. Jared Cook, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders. Kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. Prescott. And nearly picked off there, and it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third and in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it, and boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup, and guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down. On third down, that's Morris. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. In that situation of third and inches, it's not a surprise that you're going to have big-time guys up front trying to stop things. So you've got to win the leverage game. And the offensive line did that. They got lower than the guys in front of them and pushed them aside. But even they had to be surprised at what the result was. That kind of yardage on third and inches, that's not what you get on every play. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Now Prescott. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Here's Prescott. 
And some room to maneuver. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that'll make it third down. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. Here it's third and two. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And here comes play number six on this drive. A first down throw for Prescott. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Call it a gain of five, and it'll make it second down. So this offense really needs to make something happen here late in the fourth with the football. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. Offense. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. Time starting to run out here in the fourth. This defense just trying to keep the offense off the board and preserve this potential victory. Second down, Prescott. And some room to work. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And this will probably be the last play they can squeeze in here before the two-minute warning. Defense always has to be careful in this situation. A lot of teams like to take a shot. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Four yards there on the carry, gets it back to second and 11. Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. And he slides to avoid the hit. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a third down. Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. He'll look to throw. 
And he's got it. And it's a big play there on third down, but with the marker on the field, I don't think it's going to hold. Let's see. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash, this from 33. And Bailey able to knock it through. And we are all tied here in the final stages. So now then, it's a big kick there to get this game back to even. Now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock? Because another field goal could still do you in. Brandon, we're going to see right here. I would expect that after the kickoff, this offense is going to come out throwing. So those first few plays are going to be the key. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. And now Oakland ready to take the field. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Back to throw, Carr. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. David Irving in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. mask here come the flags this is going to get him a first down So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end just trying to do your job right trying to get him on the ground next thing you know they march up another 15 against your squad And as the fourth quarter winds down here, we're all even. And no one wants this game to extend. They want to go ahead and win it right now. To throw his car. His throw incomplete. There's so much precision in an offense, especially when you're throwing the ball. And in an out route, plenty of it. How about the quarterback hitting his back foot? Ball's out of his hands. Receiver making his break, making his cut. He's got to time up perfectly. Not always easy to do. Just let him a little too much. Yeah, I remember back in the good old days, I was talking to a quarterback, and he said everything they did was on the count system. So when he took a snap, he counted in his head for certain routes, different time frames for each one, and he knew if the ball wasn't out of his hand at that point, he'd better eat it because the play was dead. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. 
And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A Raiders first down, Carr hooking up with Cook. Carr to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout. And now they get set to line up as we resume action. Side complete. That's Lynch. It'll be a two-yard gain, and they're going to be staring at a third and long here. And on third and 15, we see the dime look. Six DBs on the field. Play and pass all the way. Now Carr. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Orlando Skandrick. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. I get and appreciate that they wanted to go for the win, not play for overtime, but that's the cost right there. Not so sure their fans feel the same way as you when they just watch that ball get picked and taken the other way, and now they're down six. Looks like it's going to be a loss for them, an absolute catastrophe when they tried to be aggressive. Dan Bailey now for the extra point. And it would appear they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be taken in at the one. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. They'll look to throw. Completes it right side to Cooper. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. Now they do indeed get the timeout, so all is not lost. They'll have a chance for one final heave to the end zone. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Check, 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 check. 
One final try now for Carr. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end. But they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night from Oakland.